this is part two. Through your obedience, you could be blessed. Through your obedience, God will bless you because you're walking in his will and his purpose. A lot of us, we is not going to learn until we fall. And then when we get back up, then God tell us, okay, get back in my will. When Elijah went a day's journey out the way running from Jezebel, and he ran in a cave, and no doubt he was scared. And they said there was an earthquake, but God wasn't in an earthquake. And there was a fire, but God wasn't in a fire. But God came in a still, small voice, and he said, What doest thou here, Elijah? Sometimes you get so much out of the will of God. It's never too late because God is all powerful. He all is merciful. But he'll be like, what are you, like he told Elijah, what are you doing here? God is not changing. I'm not going to tell people what their ears want to hear. I'm going to tell people what God said. And if God told me to tell you to get in his will, I'm not going to lie on God. God showed me a lot of things. God showed, like he don't show me everything, but he showed me. For me to get in his will, for me to do his will. So I'm not going to tell nobody nothing that I wouldn't do myself. So what I'm saying is get back in the will of God. Do God's will. Make it up in your mind that I'm not going to do it my way. I'm going to do it God's way. If you're evangelist, evangelize. If you're a witness, witness. If you're a prayer warrior, pray. If you're a prophet, prophesy to the nation. Whatever God anointed you and gave you his ruach, his spirit to do, do it. Because God is looking for obedience. And that's the problem today. We want to do what we want to do. And then another thing that people, a uh, 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 mistake they make. They mix spiritual things with worldly things. When, when I tell you obey God, that don't mean just doing good things. That means doing exactly what he told you to do and walk in it. I serve a God that if he give you orders and you follow it, he will bless you for your obedience. I serve a God that hallelujah, he's not a statue or a stone, but my God is all powerful and he able to speak and say go. He able to say rise up and go to that city and preach against it. And I'm not judging nobody. I'm first talking to myself. It's time to get back in the will of God. And I wasn't directly out the will of God, but just complacent, comfortable. And he called by shy. The spirit of the Lord said, I called you. I anointed you to speak, to speak to the nations, to speak to the people. And to do my will. And I got complacent. And we all do. And I wasn't going to move. But all of a sudden. I made up in my mind. I'm going to do the will of my father. And that's when the blessings came. It ain't come to me giving away money. You can't buy God. You can't buy the favor of God. I don't believe that. Obedience. Is the key. God is looking for people who are going to obey him. That's how you're going to get blessed. It's through your obedience. So the Lord said I have need of thee. He said who will go? Who can I send? And I stood and said Lord it's I. Send me. And that's where he looking. He looking for some people to say. Lord. Here's I. You can send me. So then as I decided that I was going to stop doing it my way and stop being complacent and stop being comfortable in, in, in my position or in my church or in my title of evangelist, and I decided to not do it my way but to start doing it God's way, guess what happened? All of a sudden, God took me in steps. He said, I want you to do this. I did it. He said, I want you to do that. I did it. And then all of a sudden, he could trust me again. Then he started giving me more things to do. It ain't all about auxiliaries. It's not all about your title. It's all about, are you going to obey the mandate 
to reach God's people with, with the good news that you can be saved, that salvation is of God. And it came through his son, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Mashiach, the Messiah. Are you going to believe? Are you going to stand? Are you going to walk in obedience? So as I always continue, I started to obey God and I got out of my comfort zone. All of a sudden, he wanted me to do some more. I said, Lord, what do you have for me to do? Then he started opening doors. Then someone asked me to preach at their church. And now I'm just going out now. I ain't worried about what the people think. I ain't worried about what, what man think. Because at the end of the day, when you get judged, you can't tell God that man told me I couldn't do this. Or, um, uh, I didn't do this because I didn't have enough people to go with me. God ain't, God ain't looking for our excuses. God is looking for obedience. So if you remember nothing else I said, this is part two to the message that I started. Walk in obedience. Find out what you got off at and get back on track. That's why I love about God. He's so merciful. He all knowing and he, 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 he's merciful. And it's never too late. It's never too late. You can get back on track. Because he's a merciful God. He's, he's, a, he's a mighty God. He's a good God. So you may say, so what should I do? First thing you do, repent. Say, God, I got complacent. I got comfortable in where I was at. But now I'm willing to do your will. I'm willing to do it your way. I tried doing it my way and I messed everything up. But now I'm willing to do it your way. I'm putting on my glasses because I'm finna grither. I'm going to say some things and... I wanted to say it and hide behind my looks. And I want you to see into the spirit. Obey God. Repent for disobedience. Repent for complacent. Repent for getting off. Now it's time to do God's will. We're so busy trying to satisfy our own flesh. We ain't ask God what he want us to do. We too busy doing what we want to do. We going where we want to go. We ain't ask God, could we go there? Do we want us to go? Or is that his will for us to go? And then we wonder why we ain't growing. God said, get back in my will. I got need of thee. I got, I got a purpose for thee. I have a mandate for thee. Walk in God's purpose and will. 2018, God is causing us to go forth and do his will. God is, will open up doors that no man could close. And if you obey him, the blessings going to come. I'm talking about worldly blessings and spiritual blessings. You're going to be spiritually blessed because you're in his perfect will. And he'll give you financial and worldly blessings as you obey him spiritually. And now I'm going forth. I got to preach next week at a church in Monroe. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be complacent anymore. I'm getting involved with more things. And I'm going to train others. To impact this nation from for Yahshua, Yahuwah, Yahshua. We're going to impact it for Jesus Christ. This is Evangelist Vivian Williams saying you got off track. Now, repent. Get back on track and ask God, what do you want me to do? And once God give you orders or whatever tax or mandate he give you, make up your mind that you're going to obey him. And walk in it. 2018. Walk in obedience. Do the will of your father. Get back in, in the will of God. And impact this world for Jesus Christ. God bless you. I hope I said something. To stir you up. To get back. In the perfect will of God. This is Evangelist Vivian Williams, so you sure follow. Saying there's a mandate. Get back in the will of God and do the will of your Father. God bless.